everybody, this is the fourth and final video on annular wings, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the new and improved box wing plane I've designed. So this is the original box wing plane that I showed you in my last video on annular wings, and I did a bit more work on it, but it wasn't too successful. I was flying in a gym because of really bad wind, but I was only able to do steady left turns, really. There were several main problems. Um, the ailerons, as you can see here, don't actually do anything, and I was flying on rudder only. Um, in a future video, I'll probably add working ailerons to it. Another problem was that it was too top-heavy, so as soon as I flipped over, I'd be completely out of luck, and I'd just crash miserably, as you can see there. So I rebuilt it. Um, I took out the ailerons and the cutout middle of the wing didn't seem to be helping at all so I took that out as well. I made the center of gravity lower by making the, the top wing closer to the fuselage. That did work a lot better although I was really limited by the uh, size of the gym. So I, I decided to try it outside even though there were uh, really fast winds of about 15 kilometers an hour. It did surprisingly well as you can see in this video here. So you can see right here I'm kind of hovering with the help of the wind. Uh, this plane is really amazing. Even though this model here has ailerons, I'm not actually using them because they don't do anything. But I can do knife edge turns, uh, I can do loops, hover into the wind, kind of even do rolls into the wind using just the rudder. It's definitely a great plane, a lot of fun to fly as well. So another unusual thing that I haven't done before, but I decided to try with this plane. If you can kind of see here, I use strings hooked up to the servos to control the control surfaces. It just made everything a lot smoother and looks better too. Easier, uh, simpler. I don't know, I just decided to give it a try. I'd seen it before and I decided to try it out on this plane, but it really worked out well.
And now to give you an idea of some of the different things that this plane can do, I'll uh, show you some different clips. <laughs> It's definitely a lot of fun to fly, and you can find free plans for it on my website. Also, this will be my last video until early September or late August, because I'm going to be spending the summer in Rwanda, uh, which is a country in Africa. And when I'm there, actually, I'm going to be building and flying this plane uh, to help teach some of the students at the school I'm going to be staying at the importance of measuring and uh, making plans before you make stuff basically and I will make a video of me flying the plane in Rwanda also I have some exciting things planned for when I get back uh, kits for all my airplanes will be available and um, I'm also I have some new concepts I'm really interested in looking at one of the concepts I will definitely be looking at is the uh, making a ground effect vehicle. I'll go over that a bit more when I uh, do that video series, but basically a ground effect vehicle is a plane that doesn't have enough power and weighs too much to leave the ground effect. I also might try and make a XF5U flying pancake kind of idea, and they're just basically like a pancake shape with two pro propellers on. And there is a lot of theory behind them as well that makes them more efficient. So definitely subscribe. There will be some cool videos coming out when I get back from Rwanda. And thanks for watching.